last night. <laughs> Gotta stay inside. What's going on with you, little friend? Yeah, we just did some tractor work today. I've been working around in the backyard here, and I've just been hauling in some field dirt. So, all that raking and shoveling. Well, I'm, I'm getting, uh, I'm, I'm gaining on it, though, there. Go ahead. Yeah, well, I'm getting your thing of doing something like that. It's not weather like this. Help me get out of this, go. It's a very cool out, wow, very low no humidity. Uh, especially in the morning, the temperature is uh, over 70 degrees anyhow, and uh, it felt good for a change. But uh, it's coming, full and on its way, and uh, we'll get some relief there. We just got to avoid that hurricane crap. I don't know if there's anything going on there. Back here. Yeah, I don't think there's anything floating around out there right now. Well, wait a minute. There might have been one thing, but it only had a 20% possibility of becoming just really not much. So, it all uh, it was pretty quiet out there right now for the most part. And I don't care too much for that hurricane business there. Go ahead. No, I don't need that noise at all. Uh, Uh, 
anyways, it's great to hear you, my friend, and I uh, hope you're doing well, and you and the missus, and uh, WC, and uh, uh, everybody, all the rest of the snowbirds, and uh, I'll try to get myself back in here again, uh, maybe tomorrow night or something, as long as if I'm not doing anything, or, or uh, whatever. But anyways, uh, back over to you there, uh, Ed, it's great talking to you, great hearing you, and uh, nice to be part of this. Uh, back over to you, uh, w, uh, W3, WWE, this is November 1, Sierra Charlie Hour. All right, Jim, great to have you back with us, bud. You take care down there. Tell Mama Rose that we hope that all that gets straightened out for her down there. Well, I'll tell you, that's fine as all this weather we're having. They can't get kind of flared up, by the way. But, Jay, good copy on you, a good signal tonight, too. So we're glad to have you back with us. All right, N1FCA, W3WWE. All right, let's find James out there in the mobile. Uh, N5, USK, do you have a copy, James? It's back to you. Yeah, W3WWE, so that's Yeah, I've got a 10 over copy. You're better now than you were when you were talking to WC earlier. Oh, my business. Yeah, uh, Jay was uh, five and seven. Right now, San Antonio. What? San Antonio? What? Where are you going to go, Eo? Uh, I'm going up to Illinois. Up to Texas. And I'm going to, uh, I'm going to the yard and, uh, well, first I got to wash this thing inside and out.
All right, Ed, that's it from W5 USK. Back to you there, uh, Ed. Over. Okay, uh, N5 DRL on the real line from N5 USK. In the 18 wheels of steel. Out there on the highways and the flyways. I'm W3WWE. Take care out there, James. Sorry, I had a copy and then I didn't have a copy. Wound up, I could hear you in there, but I couldn't hardly really make out what you were saying. But James, if you do have a copy on me, which you may have, careful out there on the highways and the byways, the fervent do work. All right, we'll go back to Jim down here, the old Aquawaha River boy. Dan 4RCC. Jim, what's going on down there? Oh, I haven't been on the river in a while. <laughs> the water is too hot. There is, uh, yeah, the water is too hot on that river right now. Got to wait for it to cool down because uh, I like going out there and I don't mind not catching any fish, but I like it better when I do catch some fish. So uh, <laughs> the only thing that's getting on the hook anymore in the last few weeks has been some mud fish. And I just don't care to have anything like that on the hook. So uh, I'm just going to leave that alone. Other than that, not doing a whole lot. Uh, just a few errands and stuff like that. And uh, oh, uh, let's see, the, about the only real new thing is I have a, uh, a dial caliper uh, ordered coming in. It'll be here Friday, and it marks in the, it's fractional. So you can have all your fractions good for woodworking. It also has the uh, tenth and hundredth scale, stuff like that. And uh, for my finer uh, detail stuff, I, I decided to go ahead and get one. It's not one of the most expensive ones, but good reviews on it, and uh, it'll be easier to use than a tape measure when you get down to... Uh, you know, fine measurements, sixteenths and thirty seconds and sixty four. Yeah, all that stuff. Uh, well, how about you? You doing anything good with wood? Well, no, I I haven't been doing much. I just been walking around with these steps I got from down here at the Mobile Home Dealership. So I've been I've been thinking about doing woodworking, and I hope that. Uh, here in the very near future, I'm going to get back to it. But, boy, I tell you what, Jim, you start getting down to 30 seconds, man, you're really, you're, you won't need to worry about a caulking gun, Roger. Oh, Roger that, yeah. <laughs> oh, people get a little abused when, uh, when I was actually doing that for a living. Um, I'd, I'd be measuring something and, and, Calling some measurements to a coworker or whatever, I'd be going, yeah, that's uh, seven and one sixteenth, and that is on the right side of the sixteenth line. <laughs> and, yeah, and people would look at you funny, but yeah, you want to get precise, and then you don't have uh, any wide joints in there at all. No caulking and no filling, nothing. Just wood to wood. Back to you. Yeah, you get down there and you, you take a half of, you take a third of a saw blade, Roger. Oh, Roger that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we used to call out different things, you know, eight and a quarter, heavy, eight and, a, eight and nine sixteenths light. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was good. And if the co-worker and I, uh, we knew what we were talking about to each other, but everybody else would look at you funny. Back to you. I tried a front to a coat joint, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep, enjoy doing that stuff still. But, uh, yeah, I, I decided to go ahead and get them calipers and, and uh, make it easier for the thin stuff. So that's, that's what I got them for, and uh, it, it's easier on the eyeballs. Uh, unlike Nelson, I'm not one of them spring chickens. Well, that's right. Well, Jim, you do pretty well there for getting around. We, uh, well, are you going to get yourself a wood lathe? Is that what you're getting the caliper for? No, no, I'd, I'd like to get a lathe, but I did, I'm probably won't get one. Uh, no, because I, I do a lot of, um, 
like the cedar strip canoes and things of that nature, but I'm also make little uh, little boxes, jewelry boxes, tool boxes for uh, you know small tool boxes, uh, things like that. And when you start uh, getting wood down to the thinner stuff, like three sixteenths thick and stuff, um, it's just easier to use those than it is a tape measure. So uh, that's what I got them for. Back to you. Yeah, Roger. Well, that'll work out pretty well for you. And you can set a nice tool to have there, by the way, too. We, uh, oh, uh, I think we're going to next week, don't we have a, uh, a no tax on tools? Uh, you, did you hear about that? Uh, I did not hear about that, but I'll, I'm going to look into it, that's for sure. Back to you. Yeah, so I think next week it's no tax on tools. So if you're going to want to... If you're going to want to buy any tools here in Florida, I think next week is no tax on tools. I'm going to go in and buy a new bit set, Roger. Oh, Roger, that. Yeah, I'm going to have to uh, go take a look at uh, what I may or may not need and buy it anyways. <laughs> yeah, just because of the no tax thing. Yeah, I hadn't heard about that, but I'm going to check into that and see exactly what it is. I've kind of had my mind on this, uh, uh, this Saturday, it's a National Music on the Porch Day, or best National Music Day, and uh, a bunch of us getting together this Saturday, so I may or may not be in here Saturday night, depends on uh, how long it goes, but I've got a half dozen songs I'm getting ready to play, so I've had my mind on that for a little bit, but... Uh, thanks for letting me know about that no tax on tools. I'm going to have to check that out. Back to you. Yeah, I think this week it's generators, no tax on generators. And I think it's next week, no tax on tools. Yeah, I'm going to go down and buy myself a new drill bit set. And I'm going to buy a wire brush. I don't know. I may find something else if I look hard enough. You know how it goes down there. You might want to buy yourself a, a great big old bandsaw, Roger. No, Roger, I got a small bandsaw. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, if if I was going to buy something, I'd I'd get a, a like a twelve or thirteen inch planer. Um, that that'd be real handy to have. Yeah, I got two planers. I got a 12-inch and I got an 18-inch Grizzly. I got a big old Grizzly planer. Boy, that bad boy will growl at a board. I need to get it out and get going with it so I can see if I can make something for my... I'd like to make myself a dresser, Roger. Oh, Roger that. Yeah, Grizzly makes a good product, that's for sure. Yeah, and 18-inch, uh, wow, that's, a, that's pretty wide. You can do quite a bit with that. You can run a few boards through there side by side and get them all at the same time. Or, you know, one at a time, but keep rotating them left and right. So uh, don't wear the blade out in one spot. That's the way you should do it. Now, I know you already know that. Back to you. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Well, Jim, I tell you what, it's great hearing from you tonight. We're going to go ahead and move the net on along here. We're rolling up here on 9 o'clock. And I might turn into a pumpkin here in about 15 minutes, Roger. Oh, Roger that, yeah. I'm going to get on out of here so uh, everybody else can finish up. Thanks for letting us chat, guys. And uh, WC, you have a great evening, too. W, uh, excuse me, I'm repeating myself. I must be getting tired. Ed, you have a great evening. And uh, everybody else, enjoy the rest of the time. This is KN4RCC 73's. Catch you all tomorrow night. Back to you. Okay, Jim. Well, nice to have you in here tonight from uh, Ocala, Florida. And uh, sound like uh, sound like you're doing pretty well, you and the wife. And I hope she is. Uh, Jim, you might want to check that out there. Might pick yourself up something down there and not have to pay the tax on it. That'd be pretty nice. So KN4 RCC in the net with W3WWE. All right, uh, 
Let's try the old tail gunner here. KFAYW, are you with us, Doby? KFAYW, Doby, it's calling you for it. No, Doby. All right, uh, WC, how about a, how about a uh, report from Hamilton, Mississippi? All right, FW3WWE and 5BOL will return him. Well, anyway, yes, we'll keep it short here. Uh, really, it's been just a hot day. 99 was a high. Uh, it's finally down to about 93 now there. Supposed to be about 97 tomorrow, I think. And that's that's going down. Didn't do much at all outside at all, except I can't use some garbage out there uh, with the dogs and the, the water and things like that. So that's it, Ed. We stayed on the inside there, and I probably going to do pretty well close to that again tomorrow. And I'll turn it back to you, Old. Okay, WC, a nice report from down there in Hamilton, Mississippi. All right, uh, last call for check-ins. Do we have anybody else? Three, FPS. All right, FPS, try it again. K3, FBS, W3WWE, Jacksonville, Florida, come on aboard. Hey, appreciate it there. Uh, I didn't have, I was trying to uh, write down your call, but couldn't quite get it, though. We're just here northeast uh, or northwest of Jacksonville, Florida, 16 miles from the Florida Giant Georgia line there, Roger. Yeah, Roger. The call here is W3 WWE Whiskey 3 Whiskey Whiskey Echo. And we're located in Tallahassee, Florida. The name is Ed. Echo Delta, Roger. Hey, Roger there, the uh, WW3. I mean, W3 WWE. Old wrestling fan out there, I reckon. And, uh, out there in Tallahassee, out there at uh, Fort Spoons University, correct? Roger, roger that. Yep, we're all uh, WWE fans around here. We like we like our wrestling. Hey, yes, yeah, sir. My son watches that all the time. Me, I'm a NASCAR fan myself, but it don't matter. Well, everybody got to have something they enjoy, Roger. Oh yeah, Roger that. Well. What's your handle? What's your name? Uh, my name is Fred. Fakra Romeo Echo Delta. Everybody calls me Fred and your shit there. And uh, that's what we go by. And uh, I guess my wife married me because of my initials, Fred Spoon. Well, there you go. Fred Spoon. Well, hey, that's pretty good. Well, Fred, we're glad to have you in here with our net. We're getting ready to close her on out here. But I'll turn it back to you. Do you have anything else for the Snowbird Net? Oh, y'all have a great evening. Appreciate the contact there. Uh, we're going to say 73 and hope y'all have a wonderful and blessed evening out there in Tallahassee. All right, Fred, y'all take care over there in the big metropolis of Jacksonville, Florida. It's been, been, been a while since I've been in Jacksonville. I was stationed over there in Mayport, Florida, uh, Mayport there in Jacksonville. But anyways, friend, y'all take care. God bless you. And uh, we'll say 73s from the Snowbird Net. Okay, WC, let's see. We go ahead and drive a nail in it. All right, brother. Yeah, yeah, it's almost uh, well, 8 o'clock my time, 9 o'clock your time. We'll say 73 to you and Miss Elizabeth. Y'all take care and God bless, brother. And we'll, we'll catch you in here tomorrow night. I'll be QRT on your final. Back to you. Okay, everybody. Well, we've been in here a couple hours. We've been here a little longer tonight than I had anticipated. But uh, that's okay. Uh, sorry we got to clear the net off the frequency. For those of you that didn't check in with us, well, don't. Don't get all don't get all upset. We'll be back in here tomorrow night. Just get in here and get with them. I'm W3WWE in the birdhouse. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh.
thank you very much for allowing us to come into your homes and will always respect your intelligence. Hi, may the good Lord watch over you in your lying down, in your rising up, and in your coming and in your going. W3, WWE, and the net, we're off and clear the frequency. Toodaloo, good night.